I am a flag. I have been ripped to shreds with bloody swords, spent many days crumpled within dark drawers. But I am still a flag, a proud national flag. On March 1, 1919, I adorned the hands of our people as they wore white and proclaimed hurrah for the independence of the Korean Empire. In an era of violent imperial expansionism, I wavered and fluttered enthusiastically with all my might on that day, energized with the belief that all nations are entitled to freedom and their people basic human rights without advocating violence. I was an emphatic symbol of this inalienable right to independence. The cries of our people were that of freedom and autonomy, a call for an era of democracy and human rights. Our cries demanded justice and humanity, and it was an alarm bell resounding throughout the world for peace. I was proudly displayed at the main hall of the Provisional Government of the Republic of Korea, located inside a small brick building in downtown Shanghai. It was a small hall, but not too small to display my undeniable pride. I was there with our countless brethren, rebelling against injustice while advocating independence. And I bore witness as thousands were massacred in sacrificing their lives for freedom. Eventually, our people achieved independence. I no longer had to be hidden from view, as together with our people, we ushered in a new era for Korea. Numerous factories and businesses proudly hung me on their doorsteps, and I dotted our streets and shipping vessels. I was the first to greet foreign dignitaries wherever we were, and I represented the determined will of our people to help other nations in need. In remembering the March 1st movement, I kept alive its ethos over the years, passing on to latter generations the importance of this historic milestone by proudly waving atop flagpoles and in the hands of our people. 2019 marks the centennial anniversary of this peaceful protest and fight against injustice. Today we stand together with the world to uphold the principles of global justice and peace. Today the Korean Peninsula has become an advocate for peace and mutual prosperity. I am excited and honored to be representing these ideals with renewed enthusiasm. From enduring the perils of war to becoming a symbol of peace in anticipation of the day the two Koreas become one again. As a symbol of hope where global leaders work hand in hand for our future. And as a beacon of justice denouncing the proliferation of injustice. Just as the world stretched out its hand to us in our time of need, we too now offer our helping hand to the world in the same way as we promote a message of peace for all humankind for the next 100 years.